In this video, we're going to cover how chess can help us become better decision makers in our business. So one of the coolest things about chess is that if you want to win, and if you want to win consistently, you have to move your pieces. Huda! No, but seriously, you have to move your pieces and you have to put them into action, right? You have to have a plan, right? Okay, so in order to execute your plan, you gotta focus and you gotta act. In order to win effectively, not only do you have to focus and act, but you have to make correct decisions. You've got to be able to exercise your decision-making muscle. And guess what? To the newcomer, this really isn't fun. This can be frustrating. It's the exact same scenario in business, and I'll make it very applicable to you. And that is to decide whether something is an asset or a liability in your business. To make it very specific, I'm talking about letting someone go, uh, saying no, or sacrificing a certain opportunity, or a certain idea, or a certain component, and letting it go. Chess is an awesome game, quote unquote. Um, really, chess is a mental simulation for us to exercise this decision-making muscle to be able to assess whether a piece is in alignment with our long-term strategy or if it is not and in, and if it is not what we need to do about it such as let it go another component of advanced chess games is sacrificing pieces oftentimes sacrificing sometimes our most valuable piece or second most valuable piece which would be the queen when this happens in a chess game it's crazy right because Someone can sacrifice their most valuable piece, their strongest piece. But usually when this happens in advanced games, the chess player has a certainty, has a confidence and courage within their plan that, they, that it is the best decision to do this because they're going to win. Oftentimes we have to make the same decisions in our business. We have to let people go, let ideas go, because we realize it's holding us down. And they are essentially liabilities or they're potential liabilities. This is very, very difficult to do in business. It's one of the hardest things to do is to sacrifice and let go of attachments that we make. Chess is an awesome game to experience this um, in a simulation you know, in, an, in a game, in an exercise. So I highly advocate playing chess so you get familiar and you strengthen your decision-making muscle so you can become more aware and become more observant of assessing assets and liabilities and most importantly, what to do about them. Thank you so much for watching my video. Hey, do me a favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel below. Give me a, give me a thumbs up, give me a like and a comment if you want. And uh, please visit my website. I have a special promotional offer on my new book. It's beyondchess.com slash YouTube. You can check out my new book. It's all about chess strategies for winning entrepreneurs. So entrepreneurs that want to grow their business, but also improve their personal development skills by using chess strategies. If you're into that kind of stuff, I know you're going to love the book. Check it out, and I'll talk to you soon. See you on the next video.